In this video, we're going to be working with the histology of the form elements. And among the cells in our blood, we have red blood cells and we have white blood cells. Among them, we have the neutrophils, eosinophils, lymphocytes, monocytes. And we have as well some fragments of cells. Uh, they are thrombocytes or platelets. But uh, we're going to be talking as well as some uh, disorders for red blood cells such as the sickle cell anemia. Remember that the cells or the uh, form elements of the blood are the 45% of the blood. The other uh, part, which is liquid, is a liquid matrix of the connective tissue specialized called blood, is composed by a but a, a plasma, which is a fluid portion, and it's uh, composed by proteins and some other elements, and it's the 55% of the total of blood. First of all, we're going to comment the erythrocytes or red blood cells. Note that they are biconcave in the shape, and they have no nucleus they are enucleated and they are red because of the hemoglobin the color red is because of the hemoglobin and they are the 95 percent of our blood that's why our blood is red again they are enucleated they have no nucleus by the way they have no mitochondria as well and the red color is due uh, because of the hemoglobin the function for these kind of cells are the transporting uh, oxygen from the lungs uh, to the cell of the body. Then through another mechanism, the red blood cells also transport some carbon dioxide from the cells to the lungs. And uh, the circulating erythrocytes are enucleated again. They don't have a nucleus and their life span is around 120 days. Then we have the white blood cells or leukocytes. Leuco means uh, white and, and cited cells. Uh, we have two kinds, two general kinds. The first uh, kind has granules inside. The, others, uh, the other kind has no granules inside. Then the first one are, are granulocytes and the other ones are agranulocytes. Uh, these granules have colors uh, under the dyne, then eosinophils are colored with the acidic uh, dyne, basophils are colored with the um, bluish dyne, and neutrophils, they have no defined color, but they have granules inside. Agranulocytes, they have no granules inside, and their nuclei, it, they have one per cell. It's large, but not low, like this ones. And we have, among the granular cells, we have neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils. And, against, um, and among the agranulocytes, we have lymphocytes and monocytes. The neutrophils is the most abundant kind of white blood cells we have. Uh, they stand equally, either in acidic or basic dyes. Neutral means neutral, and field mean, uh, means attracted to. Their nucleus is multilobulated, as you can see here. Uh, neutrophils granules are not, not as prominent as those in eosinophils or basophils. And neutrophils are phagocytic cells uh, that are the first to arrive at the site of the infection, bacterial infections. And these are the neutrophils or the polymorphonuclears. Then we have the eosinophils are easily distinguished by the large, prominent, and bright uh, um, cytoplasmic granules, reddish. These cells uh, stain bright in red in acidic dyes. Uh, eosinophilic uh, means rosy red. Uh, these eosinophils are phagocytic, but their primary function is to attack parasites and that are too large to be engulfed. They kill by attaching uh, to the parasite and releasing tons toxic uh, substances. Um, 
they are elevated as well in allergic reaction, allergic reactions. Neutrophils are the most abundant white blood cells. It could be up to 65% of the white blood cells. The eosinophils, it's uh, between 2 and 4%. Then we have basophil cells. They account for less than 1% of the total leukocytes or white blood cells. And they are most difficult to locate. However, when you see one, it's easily recognizable because it's very large and very prominent. And it's dark blue uh, cytoplasmic granules they have inside. Actually, we cannot see, almost we cannot see the nucleus because of the granules. These cells stains dark blue in basic stains. Baso means base. Uh, such as uh, eosinophil, um, eosin uh, means acidic. Uh, basophils are attracted to areas of the tissue damage where they migrate out of the bloodstream and tissues, uh, out of the circulation and enter into the damaged area. These cells are elevated in allergic reaction as well. Basophils release histamine, heparin, and other chemicals that promote inflammation. Then these three are called granulocytes because they have granules. Then we have agranulocyte cells. We have among them lymphocytes and monocytes. Uh, the most abundant cells after the neutrophils are the lymphocytes. They are on up to 40-45% of the white blood cells are the smallest leukocyte we have in our blood. Actually, it's kind of the same, uh, same uh, side of the red blood cells. The large and round nucleus occupied most of the cell, leaving room for uh, very little cytoplasm. If you can compare here, it's the very little cytoplasm in comparison with the nucleus. Th there are several types of lymphocytes. Uh, everyone has its function b cells or b lymphocytes mature into plasma cells and they produce antibodies uh, which is the humoral immunity and we have as well cytotoxic t lymphocytes uh, they are physically attack uh, pathogens or body cells that are infected they are called T cells and they are for cellular immunity. And we have another kind, which is the natural killer cells. And they function, uh, it's killing virus infected cells, uh, which is non-specific immunity. Finally, among the white blood cells, we have this agranulocyte, which is called monocyte. They are the largest leukocytes. They are agranular again. Uh, they are at least twice of the size of our red blood cells. They have in the their nucleus, it's uh, bean shape or kidney shape, and they have a lot of cytoplasm, more than the uh, lymphocytes. And when we form new uh, monocytes, they migrate out of the bloodstream, out of the circulation, and they become on a cell which is phagocytic, which is known as a macrophages. Then again, they are gonna be maybe three or four days in the in our circulation and then they migrate out of the bloodstream into the tissues in order to become a macrophages, which is a phagocytic cell that engulfs pathogens and cell debris. They are particularly abundant in the wall of the digestive tract in the alveoli of the lung, the spleen, liver, and lymph nodes. These small fragments, like this one, like this one, uh, they are not cells, like this one, like this one. They are not cells, they are a fragment of cells, and they are irregularly shaped as the cytoplasmic fragment of a large cell, which is a megakaryocyte. And they are important to initiate the hemostasis, the stoppage of the bleeding. Uh, during the hemostasis, platelets form platelet blocks, and they are the precursors for the blood clotting cascade. 
and they are occasionally referred as a thrombocytes. You can read here thrombocytes or platelets. Um, they are very important for the blood clotting again. And the lifespan, it's almost 10 days. Again, you can differentiate our white blood cells. Neutrophils are granulocytes, and they have a multilobulated nucleus. They have no uh, predominant color in the granules. Then we have eosinophils, which is a granulocyte. It's, it has a, as well lobed nucleus. Uh, and it has red grains, acidic grains inside. We have the basophil, which is uh, another granulocyte with the lobe nu nucleus as well, but this time the granules are colored uh, with blue. Among the A granulocytes, we have the lymphocyte uh, with no granules, and remember we have a compact, huge nucleus, and the monocyte, which is another a granulocyte, and it's bigger. This is the uh, smallest white blood cell, and this is the biggest white blood cell. And the nucleus is kidney shape or bean shape, and it has more cytoplasm. Platelets are small pieces of megakaryocytes. They have no nucleus. Remember, they are cytoplasmic fragments of the megakaryocytes. They are called platelets or thrombocytes, and they are important for the coagulation. They initiate the uh, coagulation or clotting formation. Some uh, blood cells in a slide, we have the red blood cells. They are the most abundant cells. We have the fragments like this one, like this one, like this one. These are thrombocytes or platelets. And then we have the white blood cells. And among them, we have these are neutrophils. And we have another ones we can see here, uh, monocyte, uh, kin kidney shape or uh, bean shape, the nucleus. And we have another polymorphonuclear or neutrophil here. Finally, regarding the sickle cell anemia, when we have a different shape like this one, and because of a mutation in a gene, we have the cycling of the red blood cells, and this is going to be without short lifespan, and actually it cannot uh, transport oxygen, which is the main function. That's why it's producing anemia, or the lower the, capac the capacity to transport oxygen.